Good morning. I'm going to take you guys through the process of winterizing and putting your Best Way Pool away for the winter. Best Way Pool does recommend disassembling it and putting it away in the winter. Freezing temperatures can be really hard on the vinyl. It can cause things to break down. You don't want your pump to freeze. So they recommend cleaning it really well, drying it, and putting it away. I'm going to take you through that whole process. The first thing we want to do is we want to get all the algae out first. So we're going to start by taking our good scrub brush and scrubbing the walls and bottom. If you have a vacuum, vacuum the bottom, get all that debris up. That'll make putting it away and cleaning it a lot easier. Once we have everything cleaned, we can go ahead and start to drain it. There's a couple different options on draining. First off, and the way I usually do it, I put a hose in it and simply siphon it away away from my house, downhill to a nice area for drainage. There is a port on the bottom of the pool here as well. You can use this port to hook a hose up and drain it also, but it'll only drain it down. So there's about four inches of water left in the bottom. It's a little bit of a pain. That's why I like to use the hose method in the pool to siphon it out. To get the siphon started, I simply put the hose in it, make sure I have it downhill, hook it up to a faucet, fill the hose up with water, then undo it from the faucet and let it drain. While the water is draining and being siphoned out, we can go ahead and disassemble our pump and sand filter. It is a good idea to backwash the sand filter before you put it away to kind of clean that sand. They also recommend taking the sand out of the sand filter when you store it for the winter. We can go ahead and plug these spots so that it doesn't drain out of these hoses, out of these holes. It'll drain out of our siphon hose to where we want all that water directed. We're going to disconnect all the hoses and tubing. Now it will take quite a while to drain the pool with this hose method. So I just set it up, let it sit for the day and it'll slowly drain. And if these videos are helping you out, please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Thank you. I'll finish draining the solar heater as best I can. I've got everything else disconnected, put away nicely. My drain on my sand filter is open there. I'm letting that completely drain. They do recommend emptying the sand out of the filter and storing all of this in a clean, dry place like a garage. Now, siphoning has gone really well. I found the absolute lowest point in the pool, which is right over here. So that's helping me get as much water out as possible. We can remove this valve off of port A all the way. Now that the pool is empty, we're gonna take some towels and wipe down the sides and the bottom, get everything perfectly clean and dry. That's really gonna help us out with setup next year. Okay, now that it's clean and dry, we can go ahead and disassemble the frame. And the instructions actually recommend sprinkling a little bit of talcum powder on the vinyl. That'll help prevent the vinyl from sticking together. You'll see what I mean here in just a second when we start disassembling the frame. Now this is probably the hardest part of the disassembly is getting the frame out from the vinyl. This vinyl really wants to just stick to those metal poles. So you gotta kinda go around and work it and get it all unstuck. Maybe a little bit of uh, talcum powder during assembly would have helped prevent this from sticking so much. But yeah, it's the most difficult part of this whole process, I would say. Now we can start by taking the side supports out, just pushing the tabs in on the top disconnecting it and sliding them out. And then we can go along and take the straight supports out of each side. Now one part people have the hardest time with is getting the first section of the top frame out. So the way I do it, I lift one piece way up in the air, leaving the rest of it on the ground. That little release button was kind of jammed in place, so back on the ground, push it in, then lift it up. Got that release button pushed in, then kind of shimmy it apart. There we go. Now 
now I like to take the vinyl and fold it in on itself, keeping the inside as clean as possible. And as I'm folding it up, I'm wiping off the outside, just trying to keep it as clean and dry as possible. Now, if you don't want to go through all this hassle of disassembling it, I do have a video on how to maintain your above ground pool through the winter. That'll be linked in the description below as well. But now that we've got this all disassembled, it's time to store it in a clean, dry place, like in my garage. So I'm gonna go do that right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the videos linked below and consider subscribing. It really helps me out. Thank you so much.